Hi, I am Dr. Shomitra Dotto. I'm a pediatric consultant based in Kolkata. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about what the mothers need to know about their babies, how to handle the babies, basically. Um, the first and the most important thing is breastfeeding. All mothers should breastfeed and there is no contraindication for breastfeeding. Even mothers with HIV nowadays and even COVID are supposed to breastfeed. So please do breastfeed as much as possible. And when you're breastfeeding, sit on a chair, okay, with a pillow behind the back, with a pillow down here and make sure that you hold the baby properly. In fact, we talk about kangaroo baby care where the baby lies on the chest, you know, that's the best position for the baby. When you're breastfeeding, hold the baby like this and make sure that the baby sucks. You know, the babies usually fall asleep within a couple couple of minutes so it's your duty to stimulate the baby so wake the baby up pat the baby up gently and put the baby inside uh, put the baby's mouth on the nipple and if this is the uh, lip this is the lip of the baby then this is the nipple then you got to put the nipple inside the mouth and stroke the palate and stroke the tongue properly and stimulate the baby at the same time so that the baby starts sucking once the suck becomes weak you lift the baby up again give a proper cuddle make sure that you wake the baby up wake the baby up, burp the baby up and put the baby back on the breast. And you do this for a period of at least about 20 minutes on each breast. Okay, so there's nothing better than breast, breast milk and breast milk gives all the sort of nutrients as well as all the immunity that it can. So please do not deprive your uh, baby of the valuable product that God, God has given you. The second thing is you can also express your breast milk and keep it in a sterile bottle. In a fridge, you can keep it for about a day or so. You can take it out, put it in pre-warm water and give it with the help of a cup and spoon. The baby should have it with a cup and spoon because of the fact that if you start giving with the bottle nipple, the baby will not take the breast nipple. If the baby doesn't suck on your breast nipple, your breast milk supply will go down. The best stimulus for production of milk is not only food but also suckling. So encourage the babies to suck. Um, the pattern of suckling, when the baby is going to suck next will depend on the baby. It's usually on demand. So if the baby cries after half an hour, give it after half an hour. After three hours, give it after three hours. But if the baby doesn't cry or doesn't wake up in a period of about four and a half to five hours in a term baby, then of course you should wake the baby up and give. So on demand, but do not go beyond term babies. In, uh, we are four hours for a term baby. But remember, if it's a baby is a preterm baby, uh, this time period should be not more than about three, three and a half hours or so, depending on how preterm the baby is. Is. Make sure that the mother takes uh, proper food, proper healthy uh, diet, inclusive of all proteins, carbohydrates, a little bit of fats, plenty of vegetables, fruits, uh, a lot of milk, a lot of uh, liquids. The baby needs a regular soap bath right from the beginning, shampoo on alternate days and half an hour before bath the baby needs a you know, proper oil massage preferably with olive oil or coconut oil and after the bath and in the bedtime that means twice a day the baby should have a lotion massage. There should be no kajal and there should be no uh, putting in sort of gripe water and other things like that. That's definitely not indicated. The baby should not have water because the breast milk or the bottle milk contains adequate amounts of water. The mouth needs to be cleaned up properly with a clean piece of cloth dipped in sterile water. Um, the vaccines need to be given at birth. There are three vaccines at birth. And after that, the next vaccine is due at six weeks of age. The baby should go for regular checkups to their doctor. And uh, hearing vision ad, uh, should usually be assessed. The hearing is usually assessed with a hearing test done soon after birth and the visual tests usually are not done except in preterm children if you uh, you must see whether the baby is focusing at all at six weeks or eight weeks or so if the baby is not then you need to think about it and talk to your doctor about it. the other sort of stages of development are all depicted in different charts as to when the baby sits up when the baby focuses follows smiles you know those things you should pick up from the charts and be actually uh, conversant with the doctor regarding those one word of caution is if anybody has got, you know, uh, a cough and cold or a fever, it's better not to expose this baby to that, uh, to that person. But remember one thing, that even if you have COVID, you should breastfeed. And maybe with a mask, but you should breastfeed and the baby should be kept with the mother. That's very important. Um, all COVID vaccines need to be taken by, uh, you know, irrespective of whether you are breastfeeding at all or not. And nowadays, we advocate COVID vaccines even during pregnancies. Periodic checkups are mandatory. And there's one more thing that I want to impress upon. Babies cry for lots of reasons, mostly because the baby is hungry or the baby may passed, have passed urine or stool or maybe that the baby is feeling too warm or cold, you know. So 
it is not necessarily a colic all the time. So, whenever a baby cries, make sure you actually check the baby up, see if the, baby, if the room is very hot, very warm or very cold. You can use the AC also in uh, the summers, you know, AC at 26 degrees or the fans might be on, you know. So, those things and in the winters, of course, you need a lot of uh, extra stuff on your body. So, use your common sense, that sense which is most uncommon to common people uh, in nursing the baby. But the most important, don't forget breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is the best thing that you can give your baby. And of course, keep your baby clean, keep yourself clean, make sure you are the best person who can take care of the baby. Thank you.